Here we go, Lee and Way. There's the street. There's the house. There's my ugly car. That's a good little car. What am I saying? And there is 45, 44 Singletary. Beautiful uh, Sego Palm and some nice landscape out front. Looking back again, it's kind of on the end of a street, and then there's a, another street that goes down. 295 is that way, and Lasco Road is that way. So here we go. Dolores is inside. She's found a number of things that don't please her too well, but here we go. Uh, we've got laminate flooring. Hey, Dolores, pardon me. I'm going to do a little narration, so I'm, I'm talking to the camera. And that's not a problem. All right, so coming. Okay, thanks. Uh, okay, thanks. Um, this is a bedroom right in the front of the house. So you walk in, and immediately to your right is a bedroom. So kind of acts as a as a removed guest bedroom if you will and it is right in the entrance so I'm coming back in the entrance I'll orient us with there is the front door spinning back around 180 degrees there's the entrance with Dolores standing there and we do have a uh, laminate flooring that has seen some better days but not too bad uh, coming right in just going immediately to a guest bath it does have tile floor uh, the, the tub surround looks like it's in fairly decent shape. Uh, there's a, a steel bowl sink that could use replacement. Uh, this is a guest bedroom, which uh, a, a Dolores was really just she could, shocked, couldn't believe it. But what they've done is they they've added a blackboard treatment to this wall, so kids could draw on it and then just erase it. It's kind of neat. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Straight across from that, we also had a also had a a palette of colors here so this is a, a bedroom right across from that bedroom that had the blackboard wall and uh, you know I'd say there are about the 10 by 10 maybe 10 by 11 bedrooms I would guess uh, coming back into the main floor plan this area right in the entry once again there's the front door there was that guest bedroom immediately when we came in so coming back in this area would be designated as a formal dining room if you wanted to use it as such and then turning looking back deeper into the house this would be your formal living room which then connects straight over to your family room area I'm going to turn back through the living room and look into the kitchen we have tile floor kitchen nice size eat-in area as demonstrated with this uh, six-person table this would be the laundry um, laundry area right in the kitchen so kind of convenient for the, the washing and drying portion uh, now we're looking into the kitchen got pantry uh, and cabinets and formica counter and a Dolores and a glass top range and 30 inch cabinets there's uh, not currently a refrigerator so it would need a fridge going to the garage since we're here uh, Looks like it's got a train uh, heat pump system, water heater kind of up on a stand, giving it room to run the uh, HVAC underneath. Uh, automatic garage door opener, pull down stairs. Um, otherwise, fairly standard garage, does have the metal door. And coming back around, uh, get to the kitchen. Loris is checking out the cabinets and making sure everything's all right there. Uh, laminate flooring here in the family room with the fireplace. You've got kind of a little pitch in the ceiling to give you a little bit of vaulting. Uh, and then looking out onto the lake, which unfortunately, as you guys may or may not know, we've been in a severe drought, so the lake is low as just about every pond or lake around here is. And while standing out in the patio, um, Lee, you and I talked about this last night. You can probably hear the din in the distance of 295. It would be over that way, over two rows of houses. Not that row of houses, but one more row of houses uh, is 295. So it's almost like living on the ocean. You sure to hear, sort of hear this din in the background, and that is 295. This is the backyard. So there's not a lot of yard to maintain. A little yard, but not a lot of yard. 
and I think they have this little sub fence area because it was for a pad or something looking up at the roof I'd say it's original which I think this was built in 1996 so the roof probably has two or three more years left in it probably it's got wood siding that could, is ready for a coat of paint uh, and while I'm sure we can find some blemishes in the siding at first glance it, it doesn't look too bad to me um, you know at this price range I can see by that lizard over there we got a little bit of delamination or something but nothing there that I see is very scary uh, in that I see much worse all the time there is a crack in the patio slab it's uh, as if part of the patio slab is, is cracked and dropped down you could probably have that pride back up and leveled and then fill the crack that's what it looks like to me uh, I'm no home inspector, but I'm just giving you, you know, my input. I guess we'll go look at the other side real quick. And then I'm supposed to be in the completely other end of town in about 10 minutes. So I'm going to hopefully pack Dolores up and get her back to her apartment. And there's my phone ringing. So I guess we'll wrap it up and say that's it for the video, guys. Hope you liked it. Thanks.